YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen, in today's video, we are giving you a BR draft strategy. A lot of you guys have been asking for this video and I'm finally giving it to you. I'm gonna be going over three different things in this video. First is how I draft my team. Second is how I like to draft my bullpen and kind of how many lefties I look for, how many righties. Same thing with my lineup though. I like about three lefties in my lineup and I'll be going over that in the video. And then their third thing is how we're gonna set the lineup. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that little notification bell down below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, man, feel free to comment on what you want to see. And the other thing is, man, we're going to have our socials linked down below. So make sure you follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and their main one is Twitch. We are live over there every single weekday, 8 a.m. East to 12 p.m. If you guys have any questions and you want to catch us live, make sure you pop over to Twitch and ask us, man. Feel free. Truly. Really. Enjoy the video, guys. All right. So this is a bit of a first, I mean, tough first round, man. Um, what I do look for in the first round though, I'm just going to let you guys know off the bat. Someone like Mike Trout, you know, there's another one, there's a catcher. Shortstops aren't bad. I mean, Chipper, if you see Chipper, you got to take Chipper. Like you really just got to take Chipper. Um, he can play short, but I'm looking for, you know, just kind of crappy positions that are just hard to get out of the way. Right here, I might take Lee Smith, but if it was someone like Gossage, I'd probably take Gossage. But right here, I'm going to go Jackie. All right, Billy Wagner is trash. She doesn't have a sinker cutter. I would rather take a bronze, like truly a bronze or not really a common, but like truly a bronze that has a sinker cutter rather than Billy. So we're going to go in first basements are easy to replace. There's a lot better first baseman. Shortstop is a pretty tough position to fill. I'm going to take the Boba Shet. Easy, easy pick right here. Ozuna is really good. Um, Diaz, I haven't really used him too much and he's a first baseman. That's a very easy position to fill, as I said before. I don't really take starters. You guys know this. I've never really take, I don't, I don't start starters at all. <laughs> Redraft shit the video. Nah. Nah. I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna play out with this team. Oh, we're gonna go here Bader, because he's just he's he's got too much speed for center, bro. Too much speed. Jackie's not bad. I could definitely do it with Jackie. It's not bad. This one's easy here too. Sinker cutter, we're gonna go Graveman. I look for four righties, four lefties, as you guys know. In the pen. And then for in the lineup, I look for three lefties. And here's one of them, Nate Lowe. He's pretty he's pretty good. He's a first baseman. He's not the greatest first baseman out there, but he's um it's a pretty decent one. I could go right here. I could go Chris Bassett because he's got sinker cutter, but I'm going to pick up a first baseman and eight low. Right here, just waste a common and uh, start a rotation because I'm not going to use him. Not a big fan of Mitch Hanniger this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go Jan Gomes because he's also pretty garbo. Diego Castillo's got a sinker, so I'm going to take Diego Castillo. Boy, I appreciate the follow, brother. Welcome to the stream. Mm. Some of these rounds are a little tough, dude. This guy's got nothing. I'm not going to waste a starter. Definitely not going to waste a starter. I'm not going to go Tommy Pham. Right here, we're probably going to go Tommy Canely because he's not bad. He's got a change-up fastball slider. Okay, and this is a little tough too. I might go Tyler O'Neill for the speed, even though he's not the greatest bat because I do like speed in my outfield. Um, I would go Stanek here, but I don't want to fill up my fourth righty and have to grab all lefties after this. Nate Lowe over Griffey. Griffey's trash this year. I don't like Griffey. Easy. 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 Another lefty, and he's got a sinker, Oliver Perez. This one's also a pretty easy one for me, even though, even though he's not got a sinker cutter. There's some cards this year, this one and LeClerc. There's Chapman. Even though he doesn't have a sinker cutter, I'll always take uh, Rosenthal when I see him. Trevor Rogers is a submariner. I don't know who I took over him. Lefty, I need lefties though, probably. Carlson's another one, dude. He can play left, right, and center. He's not got the best defense, but he's a switch hitter, so he's a dog, so I'm gonna take him. Oliver Perez, always been goaded in MLB The Show, yeah. Yeah, he's always goaded, dude, that's what I'm saying. This one's just, guys, right here, if you have nothing, like, don't try to force it. You literally have five uh, starter spots you can waste. David Robertson isn't bad, but I already have four left, or four righties. This is another one, man. Uh, I'm just going to waste another starter. Right here, I could go Joe Kelly, but then again, we have four righties still. If I have to waste, if I ever have to waste a starting position, guys, what you want to do is you want to waste third base, first base, left field, and right field. Those positions you can waste and easily fill them. So right here, I'm gonna, I am gonna waste another starter, but either way, if I had to waste it, I waste a third baseman over a catcher. And there we go, filled up the rotation with commons. Okay, perfect. This one's a little tough. This one's a little tough. Did you use Ken Griffey Senior and not Griffey? No. Junior, I don't like that Junior card though, this year. I don't know why. Right here, I would go Ozuna. This would easily be my Ozuna pick. Jake Lamb just doesn't do it for me versus lefties, and I know I can find a good third baseman. I'm gonna take Tyler Stevenson, because he's a good catcher dude, and he's got a lot of pop. Not worried about it. I'm not going to waste the bullpen spots. It's easy to fill up third base. And we got a bunch of bench guys that we can fill up. This one, I'm not really looking for any outfielders. Um, Miguel Cabrera, no thank you. Same with Vasquez. I don't really need Vasquez. So I'm going to take another lefty because I need two more lefties in the pen. Then we're good to go. This one's a good one. This one's actually a really good one. I'm going to take Correa right here because he can play second and third if I needed to move them around for any reason at all. I'm going to take him to third because we need a third baseman. We don't really need any other position. We're just kind of looking for bench guys at this 
We need two lefties in the pen. That's my main thing. Dang. This guy never used him before. Probably never, yeah, never used him before, but he has, he's a lefty and he has a sinker. Dude, just use him. Trust me. Just use him. Okay, now I'm just looking for pinch hitters and speed. We're going to go with speed right here. Leclerc's another good one, like I, got, like I told you guys, but I'm looking for that fourth lefty. I like to have four righties and four lefties, as I said, because I don't know. It just balances out well for me. That's what I've used all year. I'm going to take JD Davis. He's pretty good. Mm, they don't have any power or really speed. Here's switch hitter. We'll go switch hitter. This one's a decent one. We'll just, we're just going to take Seth Brown and we're going to pray for our last lefty. If we don't get a last lefty, that's all right. But yeah, that's tough. That's really tough. You have four guys and none of them are a lefty. Chad Rose not been the greatest for me. He has sinker cutter. Um, Jonathan Hernandez. We're going to try Hernandez. I don't think I've tried him that. Nope, never mind. We're not going to try Hernandez. We're going to go. Yeah, we'll go with Chad Rose. He has sinker cutter and it's not a big deal. If I, as long as I get three lefties, I'm fine. As long as I get three lefties, I'm, I've always been fine. So I'm going to take this. And then uh, let me show you guys how I set the lineup normally. What I usually do if I have multiple lefties, hold on, let me just replace this. I have multiple lefties. I go lefty right here, lefty in the one spot, lefty in the three spot. And I go righty, righty, another lefty. And then if I if I end up having a fourth lefty, as far as I'll go, I'll go another lefty here. It would be lefty here, lefty here, righty, righty, another lefty in the sixth spot, and another lefty in the eighth spot. But I look for three lefties. Two to three lefties is completely fine for me in VR. Then I either put my best hitter in the two spot, Someone like Jackie doesn't have a lot of power. I'm not going to put him in the four spot. So I put him in the two or the four. I'm going to switch out. Who wants Stevenson or Bichette? I'll go Bichette. I like Bichette a little bit more. So Correa is probably my um, my other good, my, my other great hitter that I'm good with. So I'm going to probably put him in the four spot because that's my best hitter. And that's kind of how I set my lineup. The bullpen doesn't matter. You just leave the bullpen how it is. And then uh, always start your, start your bullpen, man. Don't start your starters. And then kind of just leave it like this. And then you guys should be good to go.